All right, homies, I'm just gonna cut to the chase because I've got to get going. But today, I'm gonna get a new tattoo. Hello, everybody. So uh, it is B here doing a little interview with my favorite tattoo artist. I'm Ariel Parker, and I tattoo out of Heartbreaker Tattoo and Artist Co-op in Spokane, Washington. So the first time I ever picked up a tattoo gun was when I was 18. Uh, I'm 31 now, but I've been tattooing consistently for, I'd say, five years now. I think my favorite part about being a tattoo artist is the joy I get from making other people's visions come to life. When someone comes to me and they're asking for a permanent piece of artwork to put on their body, there's a lot of backstory that goes to it sometimes, like memorial tattoos or even scar covers. Um, the connection I get with those clients really warms my heart and makes me feel like my art isn't just art, but it's also a connection between human beings. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Is there anything that you would, like any advice you would give for somebody who's about to get their first tattoo? Do your research on your artists, make sure that they're going to vibe well with you. Eat before you go in so that you don't get the tattoo flu or pass out on your artist. And be mindful that you can state what you want. If you need to make an edit, tell your artist. Don't just get what they slap on your skin with a stencil. Advocate for yourself and make sure your artist is listening to you. Thank you so much. Is Absolutely. there anything else that uh, you would want to say to the audience? Um, I would love it if you gave me the honor of putting some ink in your skin. What I absolutely love about Heartbreaker is it is an artist co-op. The whole place is dedicated to art and artists, and the entire front area is filled to the brim with art designed by the people who work there. It's just a really friendly and comfortable atmosphere. Uh, it definitely gives queer vibes, which is really nice for somebody like me, who is often hesitant to step into more classic tattoo shops. As soon as I saw Heartbreaker opened up, I decided that that was where I wanted to get my next tattoo. This is my third time getting a tattoo at Heartbreaker, and I have not been disappointed yet. Ariel has done two of my pieces, and I plan on coming back to her for more. I really love collaborating with her, working with her, hanging out with her while she's doing the art. She's a really enjoyable presence to be around, very kind and accepting, and I genuinely look forward to planning out more body pieces with this particular artist. I 100% encourage anybody, but especially queer people and people of color, to come to Heartbreaker Spokane to get their art. Like I said, super kind and accepting atmosphere. People here are not going to give you shit for anything except bigotry. Basically, the only thing they don't tolerate is intolerance here in Heartbreaker Spokane, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, I did have to take the audio out of the majority of this video because they were playing music in the background, and even though it was low, I don't want to get copyright struck. I'm going to attempt to do some Foley stuff and see if I can't mimic the sound of this machine here, this tattoo machine, using some tools around my house and place that in as kind of an ASMR sort of vibe at the background of my voice here, and we'll see if it works. Honestly, this whole vlogging experience has been a really wonderful exercise in creativity and in developing creative habits and in really expanding my craft as a video content creator, especially since I hadn't really touched my video content creation mechanisms, tools, uh, or really anything related to it in years so i am genuinely looking forward to seeing what the finished product looks like of this particular video but really of the whole thing like i said i've, I've really enjoyed this vlog -oween and i feel pretty confident that i'm actually going to be able to complete it this year whereas in previous years i definitely missed about half of the month consistently i'm looking forward to it and i'm really glad that you're here and i appreciate you uh, watching my video uh that's all i've got to say so I guess just enjoy watching this tattoo art unfold.